Hello friends, welcome back. How are you all doing at home? I hope you're doing great. Now as all of you know, we're learning about animal system. So for this week, we're learning about sea creatures. Now, can you tell me where do sea creatures live? That's right, they live in the ocean. They can be found in the ocean or in the sea. Now, I'm going to go through with you some of the sea creatures that can be found in the sea. We have jellyfish. Let's see together. Jellyfish. Good. Octopus. Octopus. Fish. Fish. Clam. Clam. Seahorse. Seahorse. Crab. Crab. Now it's your turn to name these sea creatures with me. What is this, friends? That's right, that's a jellyfish. How about this one? Good job, this is an octopus. Let's move on to the next one. What has scales? Fish, yes, good job, friends. How about this one? Yes, this is a clam. And this one? Mm -hmm. This is a seahorse. And last but not least, this is a crab. Now, can you name me other sea creatures? If you can, whisper it to your mom and dad if they're beside you. Now, good job friends. There are more than these sea creatures that can be found in the sea or ocean. But how do they move in the sea and the ocean? They swim. They swim in the sea and in the ocean. Okay everyone, as I have introduced you to a variety of sea creatures, today we'll be focusing on fish. Now, before we begin, let me introduce you to the different parts of a fish. You can also grab a piece of paper and draw along with me. So first, we're going to draw a fish. You can make an oval shape with its cute little tail at the back. Now, I'm going to draw the head of the fish. So I'm just going to draw a line that looks like this. And this is the fish's, the fish's head. Now, what do they have on their head? They have their eyes. Very good. So I'm going to draw the eyes. What do, you, what do they use their eyes for? They use their eyes to see, just like us. Now, moving on, I'm going to draw their mouth. So, I'm going to draw it like this. And I'm going to add some bubbles. So, let's say together, this is the mouth. Alright, now moving on. How do you think a fish breathe? Do you think they breathe through their nose and mouth like us? I don't think so. Fishes have these special parts of their body that help them to breathe. That's called gills. See, one more time with me. Gills. Yes. So I'm going to draw the gills over here. Now, gills help fishes to breathe. Now, how do we spell gills? G-I-L-L-S. Gills. Now, on top of that, the fishes also swim. Now, what helps fishes to swim? What is it? Yes, they are fins. They are so smart. So fins help fishes to swim. They have one at the top and one at the bottom. And I like mine to be pointy. So these are called fin. And what do fishes have on their body? Do they have skin like us? What is it? Yeah, they have scales. Fishes have scales. And some of them have very beautiful scales. It can be colorful or it can just be only one color. And last but not least, fishes have tails. Do we have tails? I don't think so. Only fishes have tails. Now, so these are the parts of the fish. Shall we go through it together one more time? Now, this is the head. See together? Head. This is the eyes, mouth, gills, fin, and tail. Oh, I forgot one more thing. The scales. Now, 
You are going to name me the parts of the fish on your own now. Ready? Let's start with the... Good job. The head. Moving on to the... Mm -hmm. There's the eyes. Very good. The mouth. What is this, friend? What is this? Yes, the gills. This one. Very good. Fin. And what is this? On the body, the scales. And lastly, this is the tail. Very good. And this is the part of a fish. So now, friends, I have already gone through the different parts of a fish. Now, we're going to learn about a life cycle of a fish. What's a life cycle? Hmm. Now, I'm going to give you some time to think about it. Life cycle. I know life cycle is a process where animal has to go through to make more of it. Now, fish. Life cycle. Where do fish come from? Hmm. I know what you must be thinking. The ocean, right? Yeah, you're partially right. But fish come from this thing that look very round. It's called an egg. Like this chart that I have. So fishes come from an egg. Now what happens after it becomes after it becomes an egg? It turns into a larva. Can you see? A larva. And after it becomes a larva for some time, it evolves to a juvenile fish. Now what what is a juvenile fish? It is actually like a baby fish, like a toddler fish, you know? Now after it becomes juvenile fish, it turns into an adult fish and then the adult fish will lay more eggs and the cycle will continue just like a bicycle wheel that goes round and round and that's why you can see a lot of fishes in the ocean. Amazing, isn't it? So friends, now I need your help to sequence the life cycle of a fish for me. So, I have a set of cards here. I have the adult fish, juvenile fish, larva, and an egg. So, what I need you to do is to sequence them according to its life cycle. What do you think comes first? Now, let's think again. And let's just a little bit of recap. Which one comes first? Do you think it's the adult fish? Or do you think it's the juvenile fish? Or is it the egg? I think it is the egg. Now, so I'm going to put the, the egg at the first one. Now, what comes after the egg? Do you think is it the juvenile fish or the lava? Which one? This one? Yeah, you're right. Not this. It is this one. Lava. So I'm going to take this one the lava and paste it on the second one. Now, what comes third at the life cycle of a fish? Is it the adult fish or the juvenile fish? Hmm, let me think back. Adult fish, juvenile Oh, I think it is the juvenile fish. Let's put it over here. And lastly, what comes last? We have the adult fish. Now, friends, we have completed the whole life cycle of a fish. And thank you for your help in helping me doing that. Now, I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.